This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a set of slick locks for a Ford Transit van. They were sent to me by Tony in Maryland, who bought them for a van that he ended up getting rid of. Unfortunately, somewhere along the way, he lost the keys. Now, what I really like about this package is that the hasps can be installed in the door frame without drilling through the door, as you would normally have to with a standard puck lock hasp. But because the slick product doesn't have a shroud around the outside, they put spinners on the puck lock so you can't twist the lock off with a large wrench. As for picking, we'll give that a try in just a moment, though I should first note that I looked at Slick's website a few minutes ago, and it appears that they're currently selling a different model lock, so this evaluation may or may not be relevant to the current model. Because the lock is mounted flush with the side of the van, traditional picking can be awkward. So normally what I'll do is first try combing the lock open, and if that doesn't work, as is the case here, I'll take out my AM5 Leashy tool. By the way, I do sell both of these tools over on CovertInstruments.com. Okay, click out of one. Nothing on two. Three is binding. Nice click there. Nothing on four, five, six is binding. Still binding after a click. Okay, six feels like it could be set. Nothing on one, two is binding. Little counter rotation, two feels like it could be a spool pen. Okay, nice click there. Three is binding. Nice click out of three, nothing on four, five, six is binding again. Two clicks and we dropped back into our false set. We should be pretty close now. Nothing on one, two, three, four is binding. Counter rotation on four. Four feels set. Nothing on five, six is binding. And we got this open. Okay, that did have some security pins inside, so attacker is certainly going to need at least some skill to open these. But my greatest concern for this setup lies elsewhere. I've heard that burglars can slip a hacksaw blade behind the lock and cut the hasp. I've never seen that done, so we're going to head down to the garage now and try it out. Okay, folks, I had a camera error the first time I tried, so you actually saw the second, but I think that demonstration speaks for itself. I would love to see these brackets hardened or some hardened collar included because I really do like the drillless installation. But until then, there's a vulnerability that's difficult to overlook. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.